So the new Netflix One Piece, a live action series based on an anime, based on a manga, both of which are still running. Fuck you, Game of Thrones, because you started this shit. My first thoughts were, who the hell is this for? Until I saw the 96% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes, and then I got my answer. Dedicated fans that are willing to overlook the fact that this show only exists because Netflix knows it can cash on an established audience as opposed to trying to come up with something new. So One Piece lovers, allow me to piss in your milkshake. As bad as the Netflix Cowboy Bebop was, they at least had the nerve to no-no touch a property that had ended like 20 plus years ago. You know, there is a reason the One Piece anime and manga have so many episodes. Because it's a big ass story. Granted, it suffers from the same issues all long running shows suffer from. Trying to stretch shit out like a 50 year old divorcee just getting into yoga trying to find some young dick. But the new show loses the luxury of having enough runtime to justify all the over the top ridiculousness. And because it has to condense so much shit, it ends up being rushed and shallow on a level I would usually expect from a DC live action television show, but with a better budget. I must admit, they do recreate the general imagery and feel, but that's actually the second biggest problem this show has. You have characters and settings that are extremely stylized because they started off as graphic stories, but in many cases, they don't really work as live action representations. Many things look jarringly over the top, and the clunky storyline makes it worse to where I'm reminded of Power Rangers half the damn time. The only people that would look at this and not be like, what the fuck is going on, are fans of the original. Because call me a dumbass, but I have a hard time understanding how some 55-year-old office manager is going to watch a preview of this and think, oh, my kid used to get into this. Let me check it out. Then watch more than 20 minutes of this and not think, Holy shit, this explains why I spent a hundred grand to put my son through college for 10 years and all he got was a goddamn degree in interpretive dance. So the truth is I filmed this video after watching the fifth episode because to be honest, I had a hard time getting that far through the series as it was. But I did end up watching the rest to give it a fair shake. And I have to admit episode six and seven are much better with episode seven in Nami's story pretty much saving the show for me. But that doesn't mean I plan on watching season two. The finale to me kind of reinforces what I think is this show's true kryptonite. A story arch with over a thousand anime episodes alone, and there's still no conclusion to this shit. Therefore, it's stuck with having to condense such a large story and cast, and the end result ends up affecting the character development and interaction. This is most apparent in episode five, when Zoro decides to challenge the super badass swordsman who just cut a damn ship in half. Nami tries to discourage Zoro from fighting him, and he unsurprisingly asks, why do you care? Because, you know, they don't really know each other considering the fact they keep telling Luffy they're not a crew. And Nami's like, because you're my friend. Uh, how? Because you guys got drunk together once? Shit, if that's the case, I got 10,000 more friends than I thought. And I honestly think they should have saved Sanji's introduction for the next season because they could have used that runtime to actually allow the characters to gel as a crew. And Luffy's fight with Arloff also solidifies my opinion that too many of the series elements, like the gum gum fruit stretching powers, don't really translate that well visually as live action representations. Now, it is very apparent I am probably the only one on the planet with this opinion but I give no fucks about that, and this is why. I predict that later seasons are gonna end up starting huge arguments and possibly even a rift amongst fans as show creators have to select which characters and storylines get cut, and no matter what, someone's gonna get pissed about what doesn't make it. Additionally, the final episode alludes that outside of the Straw Hat Pirates, at least seven other characters are going to show back up at some point. And since they'll be introducing new characters as well, I have a hard time seeing how this won't affect the pacing, especially because there are still four more members of the crew we have yet to see. And this brings me back to my concern about some of the visual elements not really fitting. There are two main characters that will likely have to be done with CGI, 
And even the showrunner has already stated at least one of them is going to be a challenge. So with all that being said, Netflix One Piece, not terrible, but not that good in my opinion, and I don't really see it getting any better. This concludes another episode of Tyler Epson Gives the Finger to All the Stuff You Like.